Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vox. Tracy here and to another yarny chat sort of thing. <clears throat> so, I have some news before I say it. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I need to say that more often. But one of my videos has gone a tad viral. Hang on. Where is it? I knew right. I woke up this morning and I kind of looked at my phone and I always check my channel. Well, I'm, I've got an app, it's a, a studio app, and I always check it. And I thought, that's more subscribers than I had last night. I didn't think much of it, I just thought, oh well. A little while later, I'm mo mooching about and I looked at it again and I thought, whoa, that's a lot more than I had before. And so I had my shower and <laughs> like you do. And then I looked again and I thought, whoa, what's going on? I thought I must have had a shout out from someone who's a big YouTuber, you know, or something. And it uh, didn't really occur to me that it was a video. So <clears throat> a little while later, I kind of logged in because I thought, where's my chat? And what happened was I recorded it and I got it all ready, but I forgot to schedule it so it didn't pop up. And I thought, oh, dozy mare, like you do. So I got on and I went on there to actually do that. And then as I looked, I thought, you got like this little thing that shows you how many, um, how many views you've got. And it kind of goes like this. And all of a sudden it went like this. And I thought, what's that? <laughs> kind of, whoa. And I looked and it was, um, it was my, <laughs> you know no turning chain it's a game like game changer one i thought wow and when i looked it had got almost like ten thousand. more well, at the time it was seven i think and then it kind of just went eight nine ten and now as it stands that that one video has da, 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 da. Um, oh, 15,800. Actually, I think it's got more than that. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm sure it said 15,9 just now. It can't go down, can it? <laughs> Views can't go down. That doesn't make any sense. That's a YouTube glitch. Just when I, I just looked, it had 15.9. But it says 15.8, so it's about that. Isn't that amazing? I can't, I can't believe it. But um, I had a video <clears throat> that went kind of viral before. You know my baby mittens? They got like 106. That might have been where the nine came in. 165, 900 and something. Thousand, that is. And... Um, that one that one took off like that but it didn't translate into like hundreds and hundreds of new subscribers but this did um because um i'd only just got my 14 and a half thousand and suddenly i've got fifteen thousand and twenty nine, and i only just made my <laughs> my giveaway for sunday and I was thinking, uh, um, you know, always saying, like, you know, if you can like and share it, I'd appreciate it. I'm going up to my next milestone. And before that video even comes out, I've got to it now because I, I've got, it just got like loads of. So not that I'm complaining, not that I'm complaining. And it's good that it translated into um, subscribers. I don't even know if I'd said it, you know, in that video, but it's good. So, um, yeah. Whoa maybe do the 15k giveaway monday because i did my open with me and put that up saturday which is today for me but yesterday for you because i'm recording this um i almost forgot to do it That's, you know i almost did because um i had a busy day really i was sorting out the yarn van and i know i'm wearing the same clothes because it's today for me and it's tomorrow for you and it looks like i'm wearing the same clothes again and i'm not um, anyway, I went out there 
and I was doing some stock takes and good job I did because one of one of my stock counts was way out and what it is I, where I give stuff away and sometimes I put them in mystery boxes and uh, mystery bags and then I don't you know I, I'm very meticulous now about taking them out of stock but I think early on I wasn't and so I kind of um, messed about with my own counts and didn't think about it and so uh, yeah gradually I'm doing lots and lots of stock takes anyway but um, I was out there doing that and then when I'd got like a box where um, say for instance King Cold Cherish and Cherished I didn't have enough space in one box for all of it in the beginning so I had some of that in one and some of it in another one with something else so I was able to put all of that in one box and I had room for something else where I've sold more, some of it, you know what I mean? So what I've done is where I had just l some li like little bits left over, like for instance, the um, Yana Nordic, which is a 250 gram ball, I think. I can't remember exactly. But I do it for 199 because I wanted to get put it in a sale and, and just knock it out sort of thing. So where that's been getting lower and lower and lower, it's now in a box with something else, which is also like lower. Which freed up a good three or four boxes, two small ones and two big ones. So I was able to put my um, yarn bundles all in new boxes and I sold something like eight Aldi um, packets of um, yarn bundles. Um, so I thought when well, I got those out, I put them in the boxes now so that's good and that means that my um, well, um, sideboard that's the word I'm looking for that used to be in the living room that I took out there is now empty and I'm not really sure I want to keep it in there to be honest I'm not feeling it you know it's a bit too it closes the whole end of the yarn van in where it's so much bigger than the chest of drawers I used to have up there I've still got the chest of drawers, so I might just, you know, put it back and get rid of that. I don't know yet. Probably, because I just feel like it's um, made it too bulky down there and I don't have the space like I used to. And So, yeah, anyway, um, that's what I was doing. I was out there for ages and it was so warm and sunny. And outside, it was actually like a spring day. You could sit out there and talk, you know, you wouldn't need a coat, you wouldn't need a jacket or anything. It was really, really warm. But, oh, before I forget, let's do these. So we're on the remember whens. Remember when cigarette smoking was fashionable? Well, no, not, not quite that old. But um, <clears throat> I remember when my mum and dad would have thought cigarette smoking was fashionable. And do you remember all the movies from those those eras where... He would light two cigarettes and give her one like some erotic thing. <laughs> but, you know, in, in this day and age, it's like, <coughs> darling, <coughs> have a stinky stick, you know, in reality. But, you know, it was it was the ultimate act of love, wasn't it? To light that cigarette and then pass it to her and then she has a good old puff on it. And then you have a good old puff on his. It's quite horrible when you think about it. <laughs> but I know, see, I've always been an anti-smoker and um, being a child of two more or less chain smokers and um, knowing that as soon as they lit a cigarette, it was like, all oh, my throat, all oh, my eyes, all oh, my nose, wheeze, wheeze, wheeze. Because I have asthma, which wasn't diagnosed. But So as soon as they did strike up a cigarette, I would be opening all the windows. Um, we'd be driving along in a car and it don't matter how fast we were going, open the windows. And dad could not close them because it wasn't electric in those days. And they'd be like, oh, it's freezing. Close the door, close the window. And like, stop polluting my air then. You know, <laughs> so, it's a wonder I didn't get smacked when I was a child, but I didn't. I didn't. But yeah, no, I've always been... I've always been a non-smoker and an anti. I had a friend once, well, I had several friends have done this to me when I was a kid. 
and we'd be out. And they'd say, hold this. And I'd go, no, I don't want to touch that. Make me smell. Make my hands smell. No. And I'd be like, no, I'm not touching it. You just do something else with it. Put it out or whatever. But I'm not touching it. <laughs> and if I did, it'd be like arm's length. Like, Hurry up. Come on. You're making me smell. You know, that sort of thing. So let's have a look at the picture today. Oh, lots of lightsaber action going on. There we go, that's today. Oh, it's really flying by, isn't it? Flying by! It's what it is. Um, so yeah, I've already done my giveaway for Sunday. Filmed that today. So yet again, we're in the same clothes as yesterday. Today for me. It gets confusing, doesn't it? This. Anyway, um, so I've already done that. And then... You know, I was like, oh, I'm kind of a bit spun out by it, really. Like, before that's even aired, um, I've got a... <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? I'm really happy about it, to be honest with you. You can probably tell. Bought this the other day. <clears throat> this is a pretty good contraption. And I've got one in the bedroom. The only problem I will tell you about in a minute, but it's a bank of plugs. So this is a UK plug. We have three pins. We have... Um, like um you can't really see it so well there but um our plugs have got like a triangle of pins so we have a three pin plug and there's three on each side and then you've got these usb things as well i have no idea what that thing in the middle is probably just a but one thing it has got which i really 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 hate is oh i think they're lights very bright little lights on them and um so I got a marker pen and I coloured them in and now they're very dim lights. I mean, why? I know they need to tell you that they're on, but why do they have to be that bright, you know? I don't want that keeping me awake at night. And I plug my phone into this thing. So I've got another one. <clears throat> I think you get a bit of a better illustration of how our pin plugs look. Um, anyway, I bought this one because I thought I could put it in here. Or I could put it in the yarn bin. And um, to be honest, I might get another one. Because they're better than the long ones, um, the plug banks. Although, my plug bank over here has got individual switches. So if I decide I don't want the fan on, I can just turn that one off. Which is cool. This one doesn't have that. Do they? I don't think they've got switches. No, they don't. But, you know, I just switched the whole thing off at the wall. And I plug in, in my bedroom, I have um, one of those neon lights. It's in a square and it says, love wins. And when I first saw it, I thought it said, I love wine. And I thought, I don't love wine. But then she said, no, it says wins. Went, oh, of course it does. Oh, yeah, go on, then I'll have it. So, <laughs> but it's so bright, you don't even need a light on with that thing. So sometimes I put that on and I... There's in there is a lava lamp and another one of these trees, but it's got more. They're flowers, but the one in there's balls, you know, like berries. But um, yes, I've got loads of lamps, <laughs> lamps everywhere. Just nothing but lamps. But, you know, they're cute and I like them. But I was going to take the, you know, the one that's in a shell. It's very bright and um, it's a bit too bright for in here. So I was going to take it into the yarn van and put that on so that when I film in there I've got a nice one there as well although I do have a crochet rocks lit up neon sign in there and an on-air neon sign which um with the um uh sideboard thing that I've got in there at the moment it doesn't really look nice it's kind of too much so um that's another reason I might take it out and then I can have my get my kind of wall thing behind me for when I do filming really really hot I've got the fan on but it's still stifling I don't really understand it it's gone very very mild hope it's nice tomorrow I mean I'll only be driving but you never know I might not find anywhere to park and I might have to walk miles <laughs> a few feet um to the house so yeah hopefully it'll be all right um, I've forgotten something I was going to tell you. 
I don't know what. Oh yes, um, the, the, the video that kind of went viral, I've had a lot of people ask me questions and ask if I'll do a tutorial showing how you can use that with a granny square. So yes, I will, I will do that if you're watching. And um, also I will do, um, some people have asked me, can you do this with a US treble crochet, which is a double treble to us. So yes, you can. So instead of just um, doing the first kind of normal in the UK double crochet in the US single, and then doing the next one through that one, you just do another one on top of that. And so you've got the three, three stages, the same as the double treble UK treble crochet US. And also people have been asking me if you can do it for a single crochet US, which is a double in the UK. And of course I'll do that anyway. I've always done that, but because if you just do it straight off, it's a bit slanty. So I do a, a chain, but I cinch it down. You might've seen that on my tutorials when I say do a chain, but cinch it down. And I, I've been doing that as well with half treble, which is half double. So then I just do a stitch and um, yeah, so I, I kind of been doing mine like that since I was a child because I don't I don't like getting confused between the end of the end of the stitch and then there's that chain which you know when you're new to crochet especially and I have this a lot where people say oh I end up like doing this because they're in they're actually increasing at the end because they're going into that chain as well as going in so I always say do the chain cinch it right down then you won't confuse it with a stitch and then do your first stitch which then gives you the two loops to go into so i've always done that but yeah you can do it you can do it with all those but yes i will do the tutorial for the, the granny square whoever it is that asked me i'll do that no problem at all um yeah so um i haven't finished my shawl yet and i haven't worked out and done the uh, round blanket. Somebody asked me if I would do the tutorial for that because I really, really want it, and I will, but um, somebody bought the yarn and I've, I didn't take it. I thought I'd taken it out of stock, but I didn't, and <laughs> somebody bought it. So I'm waiting to, um, I can order again and get it sent. So uh, yeah, I will be doing that. I, I think I might have a, one cake left i'm not sure but um i will sort that out i'll get mother's day out of the way and then once uh, everything gets, sort of calms down and gets back to normal i will uh, i will get to grips with that and i need to write it down I need to write the pattern down um chemo beanies i was going to do the tutorial for the chemo beanies as soon as jane told me they fitted her but um i don't know i think her parcel might have got lost and so she hasn't received them which is annoying because there was a few, there was about, I can't remember how many I did for her. You all saw them and did one for Jim as well. So hopefully she'll get it and it's just held up somewhere. Um, I didn't send it the same way as I send my orders out because I didn't think, oh, I don't need the tracking number. I don't need all that. It's, it's a parcel that's from me to somebody rather than an order. So I didn't send it the same way. So maybe that's the reason perhaps I did the wrong thing I don't know but hopefully it hasn't got lost and she will get it um, I know that when she was waiting for some that other people because remember we put out little um, requests for people to send them to her um, a few of them took a while to come so uh, it might just be sitting in a, a sorting office somewhere in Canada you never know um, yeah, there was something. I've recorded this. I will. Like, I will give you a little. Um, you know, uh, what was I going to say? What? 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 What's the word I'm looking for? Um, a <clears throat> like a little secret, which isn't really. But um, yeah, I actually filmed this video. <laughs> I filmed it. And I really hated the end, so <clears throat> I deleted the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I mean, some people just edit, don't they? But not me. I just think, ah, pfft, do that again. Well, it's boring on the telly, so 
I've got nothing whatsoever to do. I could do a live stream, but I think Granny D's live. And so, uh, if I once I get off and this is uploading, I might go say hello if she's still on. Anyway, I'm going to get off now. And um, I did do that. Yes, I did. I'm just thinking, did I do that? So you, I um. Sorry, got distracted. Thought I had a message coming. So uh, yeah, I will um, watch out. I mean, for my giveaway. See, I don't mess up the end again. You know, I can't. I'm not going to do it again, though. You know, enough is enough, Trace. You know, just get all covered in a kerfuffle at the end, and then do it all again. I'll be here all night, wouldn't I? Really. Anyway. So, um, yeah, massive thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and sending it up there into the stratosphere that is absolutely brilliant and if you are any of my new subscribers welcome now usually i'm not in such a kerfuffle i'm usually a little bit more i dare i say even funny at times so um yeah welcome and i hope you stick around thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one watch out for the video of the giveaway this afternoon and watch out maybe on monday for another one for 15 thousand plus see you on the next one bye for now